Hi guys, my name is Jean Sebastian Schall, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a basic mob for your Atavis project. So first I started from scratch, this is version 2.3.1 and what we'll be using as our mob day uh, from the asset store you can download this skeleton pack it's a free asset so I've already imported it in my project so let's start with those first of all get into your skeleton data you'll see your skeleton and the animations that go with them uh, what I usually do I take the login uh, scene I'll just drag the skeleton here and put it at position 0 0 and 0 and then I'll just go onto the skeleton uh, since some assets are not always the correct size for your characters people prefabs uh, what I'm gonna do is go into the recess folder here and I'll just drag the human character here and put it at zero zero and zero and as you can see the skeleton is really really small compared to my UMI character so I'll just resize it to the correct size so that's a bit too much maybe 2.1 Yeah, so that looks about right. I can just erase my UMA prefab here. So we have the skeleton that we want to use. You need to add some components to that prefab. So what you need is the mob controller 3D. Sorry, mob controller 3D here. Then you'll need to add the character controller. And last of those, you need the Atavis Mob Controller. Uh, Atavis Mob Appearance, sorry. So here you go, we have like the three more controllers you needed for the component added to your character. Here we need to make that controller the right size, so I'll just reset it to the right position. Uh, y should be 1, and then we'll put the height as 1 yeah so that looks correct uh, what's really important here you need to have animation for all of those even if they don't exist you need to put something in so let's go back to our skeleton data, open that up, and here we have idle. Uh, we'll put run for the walk and run for the run. Jump, I don't have nothing, so I'll just put back idle. Like I said, you must fill all of those fields, or else your mob will not walk or do any animation at all. I'm uh, waiting for combat here, uh, unarm attack. Uh, we'll just put the attack dead animation we have die and swim like I don't have those so I'll just put idle and idle here next you need to open your Atavis plugin you go into Atavis online here it's in my other window and you'll need that for doing uh, adding your mob to your server side client what you do with your skeleton you take it as it's ready now oh sorry you need to add your skeleton to a, a layer uh, if you don't have it it has to be on the targetable layer here so just put that to targetable and yes change children so now you take that prefab that you just made and put it in the vessels folder and since I want to do some folder classification, I'll just add a new folder and call it mob. And I drag that into my mob folder. Now, if you go into the Atavis under mob NPC, you'll have mob here. So we'll create.
create a new mob. We'll call it skeleton and on arm skeleton. You need to drag in your game object that is the one from the Christmas folder. Put it under undead faction haters so it will attack you. Mob type. You have those, you can edit the files later on if you want. Walk speed, run speed, uh, 7 and 3 should be fine. And here you want your character to be attackable, so just put player attack ability. And then hit save data. One thing you have to do also is in your resource folder, your to you and my character, you want to make them targetable or else the mob will not be able to attack your character so yes change children and same goes to the male you and my character and then you can just delete the skeleton from your main scene remember you'll need to restart your server for that to work so if you don't know you just can type this command in and restart and that will make you be able to spawn your skeleton in your world. Hope it helps. Talk to you later.